Welcome. Messages from your future self is today's timeless pick a card. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Pile one, we have Labradorite. Pile two, Rose Quartz. And pile three, Green Fluorite. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Time stamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose your pile, pause the video now. See you at your pile. Welcome, pile one. If you chose this Labradorite, this is your reading. This is all about messages from your future self. Okay, so the messages, by the way, the bracelet that I'm wearing is actually also Labradorite. If you can see the little green and blue hues in there. This is one of the last three bracelets that is available on the Etsy store before we close the store to restock very soon. So if you're wanting one of these three bracelets that we still have there available, as I am uploading this video, I believe one of them is Amber and the other one is the Black Tourmaline for protection. Amber is for healing, uh, pain and depression. And this one is for intuition, star seeds, etc. There is a link in the description box with a special discount for all my subscribers. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But let's move into your reading. Um, so there's a messages coming through from your future self. Uh, let's look at the first card we have. Okay, initiation by fire. And the number 22 could be relevant. So you could be on a twin flame journey because I'm seeing two flames here immediately. And with the 22 here, maybe you are being initiated on the twin flame journey right now. It is quite possible. Or you recently have been. And you feel like you're in this bubble right now protective bub you are being protected you are in this protective bubble but it's also like you're in a bubble of your own that is very connected to the higher realms you're receiving a lot of downloads from the higher realms and through to your crown through your crown chakra and also your solar plexus chakra and your heart chakra is being activated right now there's a sense of being activated with a sense of self-confidence Sorry, we got interrupted there. Right now, what may feel like you're isolating yourself or you're in a bubble or you're feeling like you don't want to be spending time around a lot of people, it's because you're going through a spiritual activation here that may have something to do with twin flames. But whatever this is, is it's contributing to strengthening your self-confidence. You're going through sort of a... A spiritual cleansing right now whatever is happening right now is to change your life and to set you in a better direction in a direction that is more constructive you are being led to be on the right path right now whatever is happening right now is to put you on the right path the path you're intended to be on um, and you're being you're being cleansed and purified by divine fire. Um, you're being asked to not hold on to anything too much, no matter how much you once believed you needed this. Um, in letting go, you're going to gain a lot more than you thought, or a lot more than you're letting go of. Um, there's something about the phoenix rising from the flames. You're being reborn right now. You're going through a death and a rebirth process. Um, you may have felt that this was it. This was what life was going to be. And you're, you're about to be proven very wrong. Or you have been recently. And it may be confusing you. And you feel like you need time to gather yourself. And understand and process. And understand what's going on here. There's something about maybe situations in your life or your own belief system, um, relationships, things, jobs, places that you're being asked to let go of. You may have held on to these things out of fear and ego rather than allowing um, the divine to guide you. And your future self is coming forward to say, 
Let go of those things that are connected to fear and ego. Are you making choices out of fear or out of love? Are you making choices out of what feels good or out of the fear that, of something that can go wrong? So these are attachments if you're making choice out of fear. And the more you can let go of these attachments, the more blessings will come into your life. Maybe this twin flame journey, if that is the case for you, has awakened you to what, what you're holding on to that is not for your highest good. There's a lot that, that's going to be transformed in your life. There's a lot of life changes going on in your life that you may want to prepare for or accept. And your future self wants you to know that these changes are for the better are for your highest good. Okay? Work your magic. You actually manifested these changes. You're working with the energy of the Merkaba as a, a means of transportation to elevate and access the higher realms. You, you are learning to use and step into your light body you are becoming less dense when it comes to um, matter and connection to material things and, and even your body is becoming lighter, less dense. So some of you could be losing weight if that's something you've wanted or you just could be feeling lighter if you already have a, a, a weight that you're happy with. There's just a sense of stepping into your light body and feeling weightless. When that happens, there's another thing. Your skin starts glowing as well. So I'm seeing a glow up for your skin. And you're being transported to higher dimensions and you're moving through dimensions right now. Or you're about to in this bubble of protection and you're being protected as you do so. Um, also, they want to tell you. They, who's they? Is this a council? They want to tell you congratulations. Okay, so it's more than your future self coming forward. Your future self is telling you that you're a, you're part of a council of high, higher, and more not higher, but more evolved souls. And you're a lot more magical, powerful than you think you are. You actually have the ability to manifest what it is that you want into your life. And you're doing a good job at it as well. Yeah, but there are things in your life that you need to let go with compassion for yourself and others. Even you can let go of grudges. You can let go of things that you once chose but now no longer resonate with you. And be okay with it and forgive yourself for it. Because Kuan Yin is all about compassion. And trust that Whatever changes are occurring are for your highest good. You are on the right path. Trust when you let go. And there's another message here. Whatever you're trying to manifest, just trust that it's coming and let go of looking at it. How do I put this? Like if you put a washing machine on, are you going to look at, at the machine at, at the clothes while they're washing the whole the entire time? Or are you going to go and do other things that are more productive? Like, if, are you going to watch a boiling pot? Are you going to watch a seed grow? Or are you going to, you know, trust that it grows? It's the same thing. Your future self wants you to trust that if you do that, there's a flow of prosperity coming because you are a Lakshmi. Or you are connected, or your twin flame could be a Lakshmi. Someone who you're connected to who actually, by just by being in your life, is someone who is bringing in more abundance your way. And your future self wants you to know that there's definitely uh, an inflow of abundance and prosperity coming your way. If you're worried about that. Right now, you may be trapped in a little bit of victim consciousness. Uh, the number 12 may be relevant to you. And the number 3, this victim consciousness is keeping you trapped and away from these blessings and this is something that you can work on and let go of and you would really benefit from letting go of this victim consciousness and substitute it for
for a knowing that you will be able to manifest whatever it is you want. So you're, you're not a victim as much as you think you are. You have a lot more power over circumstances in your life. You can actually make choices and change and course correct at any time. It's not too late. You're not a victim of the universe. You can choose to believe you're a victim of the universe or you can choose to believe that the universe works in your favor, in which case you're no longer a victim. And just because certain things happen to you in your past, it doesn't mean that they're going to keep happening that way. Um, whatever you're holding on to, whether it's trauma, pain from the past, where you could have actually been a victim. I'm not saying you weren't or you're not. I'm just saying that those things weigh on our decisions and then we start making decisions out of fear and then we stay in this victim circumstance of being a victim. When you can change that is what your future self wants you to know. Just by reprogramming the way you're thinking and in a way that you tell yourself a different story about who you are, what you can accomplish, your assumptions about yourself, your assumptions about what you believe is possible for yourself. So you may need to do some work on those assumptions of self-concept, for example. Um, whew, you may need to work on raising your vibration. I actually have a affirmation meditation up on the channel. Um, it's there for everyone to uh, to listen to. So if you want to listen to that mornings and before you go to sleep for 30 to 90 days, you will have better results and that may very well help you. Um, procrastination. Yeah, it's like this victim consciousness may lead you to tend to procrastinate and let things pass you by and miss out on opportunities that present themselves to you. And your future self is coming forward saying, jump on this, take action, clear the victim consciousness because it's leading you to procrastination. And what are you procrastinating on? And we have the number eight there. You're procrastinating on your prosperity coming in a lot later than sooner. And this is stable prosperity coming in, long lasting with the number eight. And you're just sitting on it because of fear that it might not work out um, or other fears, right? Whatever that means for you. sixth house, there's something you are doing or should be doing on a daily basis, something to do with work, well-being, rituals, organization, methods, health. There's something about your daily life that you're either doing too much of or not doing enough of or that you're procrastinating on that you should be doing on a daily basis to get somewhere. But because you don't trust it, you don't do it. And then you end up doing other things on a daily basis that you feel you must do out of fear. So your future self is coming through asking you to analyze why are you doing the things you're doing? Are you doing them out of fear or are you doing them out of love? Okay. Are you doing them out of fear or are you doing them out of love? Have the third chakra, solar plexus chakra, Archangel Shamuel, and the number 37 could be relevant, the number 10 and the number 1. There are things you can do on a daily basis that will build your self-confidence and others that may take a hit on your self-confidence and your sacral chakra. Um, 
if you're doing things like taking practical steps every day toward your goals, exercising, hanging around good people um, who build you up, who give you constructive feedback, then this is building your self-confidence. What I'm just seeing here, though, is there's a sense that the, the word courage is coming through. Courage. And because I'm going back to this victim consciousness. There's something you want to do to change your daily life, but you're lacking the courage. You're not trusting because of fear of stuff that has happened in the past repeating itself in the future or because you observe something around you in other people's lives and you think the same is going to happen to you. And so you hold yourself back. And your future self doesn't want you to hold yourself back. You are you have the confidence. You're a strong person. Your future self wants you to go for it. But again, first chakra, the issue here are fears related to stability, basic needs. The number 35 could be relevant, the number 8. You are a little bit in flight or fight mode. Fight or flight mode, sorry. There is a sense of procrastinating on something because you feel that this won't happen and you feel it would mess with your stability which is a shame because it would actually bring you more stability let go of the fear saying let go of the fear Archangel Michael is helping you let go of this fear if you're needing help to let go of fear Archangel Michael is here to help you Cutting those cords with fear or victim consciousness. We have a caring connections. So there could be a caring connection here that is involved. And if you're wondering, yes, this is a caring mutual connection. Yes, this is a higher level soulmate as well because we have the number 14, which is temperance, which is soulmates. So that's a confirmation if you needed it. But you need to let go of the fear surrounding this connection. Is what this is saying. Okay. Look at some tarot now. Page of inspiration. You could have Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart. You're feeling very passionate here about a connection. Maybe something you've manifested the moon, but it also triggers fears in you. This could be someone younger or older than you. I'm seeing an age gap. This is triggering some subconscious fears and trauma and battles from the past and things that you've been through that were unresolved that are coming to the surface. Or this caring connection is making you face your fears. Or you're dealing with someone with whom you have a caring connection who because of this connection is having to face their fears and they're having trouble trusting in themselves or their abilities, okay? This could, this could, maybe this is not just you, but they're saying it's safe to trust either you or this person. Now, you're going to gain clarity on this and you're going to overcome this. You are going to raise your vibration or this person will. Have the Queen of Materials, you could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in your chart. Under Lakshmi, that is brilliant because that is just confirming that if you persist and if you overcome these fears, what's on the other side is the happiness, the joy, the growth. Everything you touch turns to gold, everything grows. And with the Queen of Materials, Lakshmi, and the Sun, I'm seeing either a new project or a child. I'm seeing the month of August being very significant here and the month of June as well. 14, one plus four is a five. There are gonna be changes. You just need to trust that 
if you let go of fear, you will stop procrastinating. You will take the right steps here. If you're the feminine energy, you are a Lakshmi in someone's life and you're going to help them with their abundance. If you're a masculine, there is a feminine energy who is a Lakshmi who is coming in to help you with prosperity in your life in abundance. Um... And for those of you who are thinking about letting go of a caring connection out of fear, think again if that's not connected to some kind of subconscious thing that has been buried in your psyche. You may regret doing that because of fear. Okay, what else do we have now? We have harp. Yeah, you're going to experience a lot of happiness. Maybe you, if you watch the latest pick a card, I think there was a harp in the middle pile, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe you chose that one, or maybe you need to go watch that one. It is, if you need, if you're seeing this, you need to hear this, I think, yeah. We have career, so there's going to be good things happening for you on the career front around August. Okay, and something about November is coming up now. What is happening in November? Wealth, okay, there we go. Right on top of Lakshmi and the Queen of Materials. So whatever you're doing career-wise, it's going to bring you wealth. And then we have April. Okay, and we have July. So something between April and July when it comes to a connection here is also going to make you very happy. There could be a new beginning here. Some of you are going to be proposed to or going to be proposing to someone and that's going to be a very abundant partnership. Okay, that was your reading, Paul Naru, and I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it brought you the clarity that you seek. These were your messages from your future self. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you every time you like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, save the video, comment on the video. It really helps the channel and it helps me bring you more. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Um, for readings, Life Purpose Reports and Energy Healings, you can find my email in the description box. Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. I just uploaded a reading on Patreon, so you may want to go check that one out. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, pal, to if you chose this rose quartz, this is going to be your reading. Okay, so messages from your future self. Before we move into the reading, uh, this is a moonstone. Well, it's not a moonstone, but well, it is a moonstone. It's labradorite. Um, it is one of the last three. Um, bracelets that are in the store on the, in Etsy. There's a link in the description box with the special discount code. These are natural gemstone, real gold filled healing bracelets. Um, and once we do sell these three, we will start, we will close the store to restock for a little bit. Okay. So if you're interested in these bracelets, you can find the link in the description box. All right. Messages from your future self, Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. The number 28 could be relevant to you, as well as the number 10 and the number 1. So what I'm seeing here, this is so interesting. Well, first of all, these two, uh, Archangel Raphael is working closely with you when it comes to healing heart chakra, and love, as well as abundance. But you're being welcomed somewhere. You are being welcomed by the angelic realm through this portal 
So I'm feeling the 5-5 five, five portal is going to be very significant and important to you. That is one of the pick cards that is actually coming up very, very soon. Um, with Master Hilarion, this is showing us that part of your divine purpose is actually to develop your mind and use it for healing purposes. So you are a powerful healer. But there's something about the way you use your mind that needs to be re reprogrammed. Or there's some something about your crown chakra, chakra being very open to receiving, to channel divine healing through your crown chakra and all the way through your hands. You also have healing palm chakras. So you are a healer. That's, that's why Archangel Raphael is coming through because you are a healer. But there's something you need to learn about healing. Um, maybe you are learning about healing. You can heal with your mind. You don't even have to use your hands as well as what I'm seeing here. There's something about changing your mindset that is very necessary right now. Reprogramming your mind in terms of self-concept, who you are, what you're capable of, assumptions about what you believe is possible for yourself. There could be some tweaking that would be very beneficial and helpful at this point in time for you. So you may benefit from listening to my affirmation meditation. It's on the channel for everyone to listen to. For better results, you can do 30 to 90 days, mornings and evenings. Um... By changing your mindset, you can actually improve your life and heal a lot further. Heal yourself and others. And expand the possibilities. So I feel this 5-5 five, five portal. I feel like I'm already giving you a message about the 5-5 five, five portal. And you may want to go watch that pick a card as well once it's out. But this 5-5 five, five portal is going to be extremely significant to you. And it's... And it's at the exact same time as the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So you could have a fixed sign somewhere significant, but you're changing. There's massive changing going on for you through this um, portal. There's, it's going to be massively healing and you're either going to make a decision to reprogram your mind and raise your vibration or you're going to complete that cycle and it's finally going to become like as natural as breathing for you wow okay beautiful have listen so you could be developing developing clear audience meaning you're gonna hear spirit talking to you in your mind's ears very clearly but you're also being you're also being nudged to listen to your body listen to your heart listen to your feelings pay attention to how you feel about everything and that is your intuition trying to speak to you. So listen to your intuition over your fear. And your future self wants you to know that you would benefit from listening more than you talk right now. Energy healing. You're definitely an energy healer or you would definitely benefit from doing some energy healing. You could do something like Reiki or an energy healing session with someone. I do have a energy healing guided meditation ready for anyone who needs it. So you can email me for that if you need it. But you have powerful healing hands and you can heal with your mind as well. You are an energy healer. And your future self wants you to know and to listen to this and take it seriously. You're also a powerful manifester. 
you're either someone who understands the law of attraction and the law of assumption very well, or this is something that you need to learn about and practice more and understand that you have the power to attract anything. You can do it, absolutely. You can. It's a real thing. You can do it. Your future self wants you to know that you can attract in whatever you want. And Archangel Michael is here. It doesn't surprise me because when I saw this card, listen, the loudest Archangel normally is Archangel Michael. He is the one who, well, besides Archangel Gabriel, who's the messenger, but he's the one who has like the most like military powerful voice. It's very like stern and assertive. It's not like, oh, oh, my little lady, let's wake up. No, no, no. If you ask Archangel Michael to wake you up as an alarm clock, he will just be in your ear going, wake up. <laughs> yeah, true story. That's what happened to me once when I asked him to, you know, let's test this theory. If I ask Archangel Michael to wake me up since he's so military, because I had read about it. So I tested the theory and I was like, okay, Archangel Michael, could you please wake me up tomorrow? I don't know what time it was, but I know that I didn't need the alarm because it didn't feel bad. It felt really like just very matter of fact, wake up. So he's coming through to say that he's also helping you. Uh, and he wants you to listen to him because it seems like you're going to develop clear audience or you have and he has spoken to you or he will um, something about beauty and I'm hearing yes you are beautiful stop doubting that and yes your beauty comes from within the number 17 could be relevant and the number 8 there's something about a glow up after some healing that you're going to do, energy healing leading to a glow up. There's also something about you being involved in beauty, helping people glow by helping them heal their energy. And there's also something about you glowing because of healing your energy. You have the phoenix rising so similar theme to pile number one you may want to go watch pile one maybe you felt drawn to pile one as well the number 32 and the number five so things are changing for some of you who felt there was something going on with your sense of your own beauty or beauty in general there's something that's changing and you're having a glow up. It's like you're going to look better and better and better because you're learning something about how you can manifest this. And there's a sense here as well with the Phoenix rising that you felt so defeated at one point in your life. Maybe that's how you're feeling now that you feel like you're not going to succeed or you feel like a failure or this is it and there's no way up you're going to be very very surprised at how much things change and again we have the five there so the five five portal you're going to be surprised and you're going to surprise everyone it's like you're re-emerging better than before is what i'm seeing here 12th house you've been feeling hidden withdrawn trying to surrender connected to your subconscious maybe having a lot of dreams spending a lot of time alone dealing with karma healing um, there's a lot that's been going on behind the scenes in terms of your healing and your growth that you're not aware of because there hasn't been any physical evidence you're going to start seeing the physical evidence on your face and your body and in all the things that you start attracting, all this work that you've done has not been in vain. After this 5-5 five, five portal, you're going to start seeing the physical evidence of this work that you've been doing on healing. 
your future self wants you to journal and if you journal your future self is saying through journaling a strategy will be designed you will come up with a strategy and your future self wants you to work on a strategy around how you manifest and attract things be diligent and disciplined about this because it will pay off okay the world you're closing a huge cycle right now the number 29 could be relevant the number two um if you want to travel you need a strategy oh i just noticed we have 1221 mirrored numbers so you're about, about to get really lucky when it comes to travel the internet or social media If you're on social media, you need to come up with a strategy. If you have like e-commerce, like an online business, you need to come up with a strategy to go global, to go wor worldwide. There's something that you're going to be able to go global with, with the right strategy. And another 12. So we have 12, 12. 12s are very important and 12 came up in pile one as well. The temple path your spiritual growth your your choice to feed your soul is going to take you further than you could ever imagine it has not been in vain again and it will not be in vain if you choose to do so the spiritual path is going to be very healing and it's going to attract in many things and many material things as well. The number 12, 12, 12, angel number 12, 12. December could be significant. The 12th of a month could be significant. Seven of voices. What voices are you listening to? What voices are you gonna choose to listen to? The dark ones pulling you down or the light ones pulling you up. It's up to you. Where have you been sabotaging yourself? How can you bring yourself justice? Because if no one does, you have to. You could have Libra in your chart. Something about October or November could be significant. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. You could tend to overthink things, research things. Ace of Materials, Ace of Pentacles, a new long-lasting stable beginning, and again May. Ten of Materials, Ten of Pentacles. Oof, I love this. Okay, so it seems like whatever self-sabotaging cycle you were in, you're stopping that. That's coming to a halt, and you're going to choose to gather yourself, do some research, and choose a new path that is stable, long-lasting, and prosperous. Whatever seed you plant for a new beginning in your life, moving forward, and this is a new beginning, after you close the cycle, is going to pay off tenfold. Investing and taking this risk, taking this leap of faith, after you come up with a strategy, this may involve travel or relocation. You can absolutely do this, and the results are going to be Surprising to say the least, if not shocking, in a very good way. Some of you are starting a new journey in a different place, different house, or different city, country altogether, very possibly. That will lead to very good, abundant, stable, wealthy, healthy results in the practical sense.
we have the sun. So happiness and well-being is what awaits you. Success. The sun represents health as well. Well-being is health. Love. December is going to be very significant when it comes to your love life. June, what is up with June? May, oh, May was significant. I did see May three times. And February, December, between December and February, there's something about your love life. There could be a marriage proposal or starting a family or moving into a new house or bringing more stability to your family. Maybe there's a pregnancy or starting a new project here. But I'm seeing wealth and health and stability and love, success, happiness and well-being. What else could you ask for, Paul, too? This was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you today. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Thank you for all your likes, subscribing, sharing saving the videos, commenting. It really helps the channel continue and it helps me bring you more of these. Um, for extra content, I have Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. I have just uploaded a new video on Patreon recently for readings, energy healing sessions, and life purpose reports you can find my email in the description box it was a pleasure to read for you guys today bless you all see you sometime soon bye till next time welcome pile three if you chose this green fluorite this is your reading so let's see what your future self wants you to know before we move to your reading just quick announcement, we only have three healing natural gemstone and gold bracelets left in the Etsy store. Uh, until when we do sell all three of those, then we're closing and um, for a short while to restock. So if you're interested in any of those three right now, you can find the link in the description box with a special discount. Okay, let's move into your reading. Messages from your future self. Okay, wisdom of the divine feminine is what you are currently acquiring or where you should focus. If you're a masculine energy, you could be dealing with a divine feminine. And if so, you are gaining a lot of wisdom from this divine feminine. If you are a feminine, this is telling you from your future self that you are someone who is acquiring a lot of wisdom when it comes to your divine feminine energy. You're closing a cycle as well. Your future self wants you to know that this divine feminine wisdom is actually empowering you to grow into your vision, your dreams, and the fulfillment of your life purpose. So you could have a very feminine life purpose, such as fourth house, cancerian energy, like mothering, nurturing, home-based things, cooking, um, let me see if there's any or Taurus energy or Libra energy. Uh, something about the home, the garden, beautifying things. And intuition, Pisces energy. 12th house, 7th house, 8th house, Scorpio, 2nd house. So... If you don't know what your life purpose is and you would like to find out, I do life purpose reports based on your natal tropical astrology chart. You can find my email in the description box for that. But maybe whatever life you've experienced, no, sorry, whatever life you are currently experiencing, maybe you've envisioned something very different for yourself. So what is trying to be said here is that even though things may not going, 
be going exactly the way you would like them to go right now is through the power of gratitude, being grateful for the current blessings that you have in your life while trusting that more of what you want will come will serve you best at this point in time. Rather than focusing on the things that you don't have or that you wish you had. We have write, so you would benefit from writing something or there's something that your future self is telling you that you need to write. Maybe you're going to teach people through your words because thought is a teacher. Um, maybe you are a teacher, maybe you're going to become a teacher and this is a confirmation. You could be teaching about divine feminine wisdom, but doesn't have to be. Um, maybe there's something you need to write here that is connected to Divine Feminine Energy. Or if you're thinking of becoming an author or writing a blog or something, this is your indication from your future self that you are on the right path. That will bring you a lot of joy. Okay? Also, I'm hearing gratitude journal, writing a gratitude journal is going to help you raise your vibration if you can write down every every day the things that you're grateful for. Yeah, find your blessing. I just said this in your current situation. Krishna could be connected. I love these synchronicities. I just said this. Writing in a gratitude journal is going to help you find the blessings in your current situation it, and in turn, it's going to raise your vibration, and in turn, it's going to serve as a platform to get you to the next level so that more can come in. If you're coming from a place of gratitude, more will come in. If you're coming from a place of lack, less will come in. You are seeing the situation accurately, so there's a situation in your life that you're seeing accurately. And it's possibly about self self-sabotage, where you've been sabotaging yourself or you will be seeing how you have been sabotaging your path by focusing on maybe the things you don't have rather than the things you do have. And understanding that you're actually getting a lot more help from above than you think. The number 27 could be relevant as well as the number 9. But you're definitely closing a cycle of self-sabotage. Or you're being invited to close the cycle of self-sabotage and they're showing you how to do this is to actually focus on the blessings in your current situation, write about them in a form of gratitude and experience that as a key unlocking you to the next level of raising your vibration all the way from fear to joy, wherever you are on the spectrum. Pluto. You are going through or about to go through an intense regeneration, transformation, a very powerful transformation, maybe the most powerful you've ever experienced in this lifetime. You're reclaiming your power. Trusting yourself a lot more. You're going through a death and a rebirth right now. You're doing a lot of healing, or at least this is what you should be focusing on, especially healing around your solar plexus chakra. If you're needing help, help with energy healing, I do have a recorded guided meditation. You can find uh, my email in the description box and ask me about it if you're interested. But there's something about your sense of self-worth, self-confidence that needs some healing here in order to fully transform. Now you could also benefit from upper body exercises such as posture correcting exercises here, strengthening your core, that will help your solar plexus as well. The number 51 and the number 6 could be relevant. We have happy family. This is 4 of Wands, 10 of Cups energy combined in one. Your future self wants you to know that your family will be healed and happy. There will be stability for your family and happiness. 
or you're going to have a very healed, happy family life, very stable, blissful family life. You have man holding a coin. If you're a masculine, there's a lot of money coming in from your work, from your business, maybe a raise, a promotion, more clients, more sales, whatever this is for you, more followers, more money coming in. If you're feminine energy, there's a masculine who's very well off financially, who has his own business very possibly. And this is a, a husband energy. So you're either going to get married and be a husband or you're going to have a husband and a happy family. Or if you're already married, there's going to be healing for you and happiness for your family and financial stability and bliss and health. The number 43 could be relevant to you as well as the number 7. But this is very connected to you being able to find the blessings in your current situation. Okay. Stop sabotaging yourself with negative self concepts and thoughts and thinking and assumptions. Okay. Nine of emotions. You're going to get what you asked for. Wish fulfilled. In terms of finances, marriage, family. You're going to close the cycle here. Possibly you will be able to travel if that's what you're wishing. Or something about an online business going really well or being seen around the world if that's what you wish. Four of emotions. If you're wishing for something that is very material driven, you're going to see that that is only going to satisfy you to an extent. But there are other things that are more important to you. And it's going to confuse you. And you're going to choose some other direction and make another decision. Once you reach a certain status. And you're going to see that what's more important to you is to feel blissful, happy, in love. And taken care of in terms of family, health and stability. Your future self is also saying the sense of boredom and discontentment is up to you to change and it's only a decision. You're, it's your decision away from changing your circumstances. You have the heart, love, affection and caring will be there in your future deep affection. Something about September is bringing you love, deep affection, and caring. Possibly a marriage proposal or more love, affection, and care in your marriage. We have March. Maybe the proposal is in September and the marriage is in March or there is a proposal in March. October could be significant as well. January. Between October and January, we have happiness. So between October and January, you're going to be very, very happy about a sequence of events that involves marriage, love, deep affection, and caring. Okay? So that was your reading, pile number three. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribing, sharing, saving this video or the videos, commenting. It really helps the channel and it helps me bring you more of these. Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. I just uploaded a new video to Patreon very recently. For readings, life purpose reports, and energy healing, you can find my email in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for all of you today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time.